the aviation industry is buzzing with news about the idea of Boeing's latest aircraft. Since falling to the second position and losing the top position to a competitor, Airbus in aircraft manufacturing in 2019, Boeing has declared its intention to reclaim the top spot in the industry with the introduction of this new plane, Boeing 797. Let's find out in today's episode. The Boeing 797 is said to be the successor to the Boeing 757, which has been in service for over 40 years. The 757 is an iconic aircraft that pilots and passengers love. Therefore, its arrival is highly expected. So let's take a look at the standout features of this aircraft that make it so promising and capable of bringing Boeing back to the top. According to reports, the Boeing aircraft will have two variants, the 797-6 and the Dash 7. The Dash 6 will have 225 seats and a range of 5,000 nautical miles, while the Dash 7 will have 275 seats with 4,500 nautical miles. The aircraft is expected to be equipped with new turbofan engines featuring impressive bypass and overall pressure ratios, promising higher performance and efficiency. In detail, the new Boeing aircraft will feature a design that uses composite materials like the 787 incorporating carbon fiber to lighten the aircraft. This will reduce weight and allow for lower cabin pressure along with higher humidity levels, making the flight more comfortable for passengers and improving overall flight performance. The main competitors of this aircraft will be the Airbus A321neo and its long-range version, the Airbus A321XLR. The Dash 7 variant will have more seats. It is also designed to fly faster, with a maximum speed of Mach 0.85 compared to the Mach 0.78 of the Airbus aircraft. One of the greatest advantages of the Boeing 797 is its potential for superior fuel efficiency. Thanks to advancements in engine technology, Boeing aims to choose an engine system that is over the fuel efficiency of the Airbus A321 XLR engines. The development of this new aircraft comes at a crucial time for Boeing. The company has faced significant challenges with its 737 MAX and Dreamliner programs, including safety concerns and certification issues. Introducing it could help Boeing regain market share and rebuild its reputation in the industry. Next, its ability to accommodate more passengers provides airlines with the flexibility to serve more passengers, which is crucial for maximizing revenue on busy routes. Additionally, the 797's faster flight speed results in shorter travel times, which can be a significant selling point for both airlines and passengers. This is also a particular capability of this aircraft. If you're looking to arrive at your destination sooner than expected, waiting to fly on the 797 is well worth the anticipation. Boeing is exploiting advances in digitalization and engine technology to create an aircraft that is not only more efficient, but also more sustainable. The use of composite materials in the aircraft's frame reduces weight, leading to lower fuel consumption and emissions. Moreover, it is expected to be compatible with sustainable aviation fuels, SAF, and potentially even hydrogen fuel in the future. This forward-thinking approach positions this Boeing aircraft as a leader in the competition toward green aviation, making it an attractive choice for environmentally conscious airlines and passengers. Additionally, a very important factor is that the passenger experience on this aircraft is also expected to be a major selling point. This aircraft continues to maintain the advantage from the 787 generation concerning passenger experience, which involves higher cabin humidity at altitudes of several tens of thousands of feet. The advanced composite design allows for a more comfortable cabin environment with lower pressure and higher humidity, minimizing fatigue for passengers on long flights. From the outstanding features above, the launch of it is expected. What features do you feel will make it highlight compared with other aircraft? Please let us know by leaving a comment below. So, with these standout features, do you think this aircraft meets market demands? The previous 737 MAX crisis and the ongoing impact of the COVID-19 pandemic have prevented Calhoun from pursuing a new aircraft program at Boeing at this time. There is information that Calhoun said the 797 program should be prioritized for the next CEO. He is right when suggesting that for some reasons. The demand for dual aisle aircraft is expected to increase, especially in Asia, and this Boeing aircraft could play a crucial role in meeting this demand. Additionally, as long haul, low cost travel becomes more popular, the efficient design of the 797 could make it a top choice for budget airlines. The principal arguments from 2018 still favor Boeing developing a middle-of-market plane today. 
Airlines need both Airbus and Boeing to fill narrow body aircraft orders with more extended range and higher seat capacity. Right now, neither OEM can satisfy demand with their current single aisle aircraft families alone. This would make a revival of a middle of the market aircraft more pressing for Boeing. There is a sound basis for Boeing to develop a 797 middle of market plane now, no matter what else is happening or what they ultimately decide to call it. This segment is huge and growing, Shonlin said. The 757 market is already bigger than it was. The middle of the market now encompasses even what was the 767-300 and A310 segments. Boeing must come up with a new plane that replaces the MAX 9 tenths and goes up to 250 seats. With the potential circumstances and increasing market demand for this type of aircraft, it's certain that besides the 797, there will be many competitors in the same segment. Let's explore further how this aircraft compares to its main competitors. However, before moving on to the next section, please support us by liking and sharing the video. Boeing has had several programs over the past three, five, and 10 years about what they will do. While the Airbus A321 XLR has been praised for its fuel efficiency and range, the Boeing aircraft is expected to excel in several main areas. As mentioned in the features section, this Boeing achieves a maximum flight speed of Mach 0.85, faster than the Mach 0.78 of the Airbus A321 XLR. Additionally, the 797-7 variant will have more seats, accommodating up to 275 passengers, compared to the A321 XLR's 244 seats. Another crucial point is that the humidity on this Boeing aircraft will be higher due to its composite material design, utilizing carbon fiber to lighten the aircraft. This reduces weight and allows for lower cabin pressure with higher humidity levels, making flights more comfortable for passengers and improving overall flight efficiency. If you are someone who easily gets a dry throat or nose while flying, and if you have ever experienced the comfortable air on the Dreamliner, you will surely look forward to experiencing this new aircraft in the future. A comparison of the range is also interesting, while the Airbus A321 XLR has a range of approximately 4,700 nautical miles, Boeing's aircraft offers a more suitable solution with its two variants. The 5,000 nautical miles range of the Dash 6 variant is suitable for longer routes, whereas the 4,500 nautical miles range of the Dash 7 variant provides a slightly shorter but still significant distance, catering to various route demands. The more we compare, the more we see the outstanding features and expected potential of this new aircraft. However, it will face some challenges in reaching the market and getting the opportunity to serve those eagerly awaiting it. Boeing is currently focusing on solving problems with the 737 MAX and 777X programs, which could potentially delay the introduction of the 797. Furthermore, the company's reputation has been affected by safety and quality problems in the past and they will need to work harder to regain public trust. When entering the market, it may face certain competition from the Airbus A321 XLR. However, this Airbus aircraft has been on the market for quite some time, and the industry is eagerly anticipating a more innovative product from Boeing, a manufacturer that hasn't introduced a new aircraft in a long time. In this context, the 797 already has a dedicated customer base excitedly awaiting its debut. With the standout features mentioned, this aircraft certainly doesn't need to fear any competitors. This strategy of developing 797 in a case where this company needs a win. The crisis of the 737 MAX and plentiful challenges with the 787 program damaged the reputation and market position of Boeing. By launching this new aircraft, Boeing has a chance to prove its commitment to change, safety, and the pleasantness of passengers. Its success may be a factor that helps Boeing rebuild the brand name and trust of the airlines and passengers. The Boeing 797 is a highly anticipated aircraft following a long period without new releases from Boeing. What do you think about the changes in this aircraft compared to other? Do you think it has potential in the industry? Leave a comment below to let us know. Thank you and see you again soon.